folks, Adam here from Elite Demonstrations. This video is going to show you what you need to do to set up your hybrid generator. So let's go ahead and check it out and you're going to see this dual fuel generator and what you need to do when you first pick it up. Now first I need to tell you that it's a Duramax next generation power system. It's a power boost technology of 120 volts, perfect for appliances and RVs. Uh, it has the power to protect from surge protections and overloads. All metal construction has an extended runtime of eight hours on one tank and it's EBA CARB approved, EPA CARB approved in all 50 states and Duramax stands behind what they have. Now let me go ahead and show you this portion over here. You can see everything you need to know from the AC 120 and 240 volt. You got two here. You got the AC 120 and 30 amp, as well as the protector, the switch over, and the circuit breaker, the idle control, the recharge indicator, and your engine start. Very straightforward. Now the first thing you're gonna do before you start it is remove any braces from shipping. That should be really easy. The next step is to go ahead and add oil. We're gonna use a 30 weight oil and it goes right in here. You can see it's bright yellow so you can't miss it. And that's gonna be the spot that you pour your oil right in. In some cases, if you're in a colder environment, go ahead and use 10 W30, but I'm gonna use a 30 weight for my environment. You have the propane or gasoline option. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and fill it with gasoline. You can see I've got the natural gas and you just connect that if that's your preference. And just for the example, I'm just going to put a gallon into it. This actually holds quite a bit and has an extended long run time compared to a lot of similar generators. You have a fuel valve right here. You're going to turn it on for gasoline or off for your propane, just that easy. I like to make sure that the circuit breaker is off before we start. This just keeps and prevents an accidental load when you start, which is just for safety. We're gonna go ahead and close the choke before we start. That's right above the air filter. And that is going to um, cut the air supply to allow more gas for the engine to start. Then you're gonna insert the key and start the generator. All right, folks, hopefully that shows you how to get your Duramax generator started very easily. You can use your propane or you can use your gasoline. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and check it out. You won't be disappointed. I'm Adam from Elite Demonstrations. We only show you products that we absolutely love. And guess what? Duramax is the best of the best. This is an Elite Hybrid Generator. The XP 12,000 EH is better, the best, better than the best so you can forget the rest. You can't teach that and you can't beat that. Goodbye, my friends.